Welcome to video 17 on Train Controller 10 Gold. In this episode, let's have a look how we can control physical signals on our layout. This is what we try to accomplish at a station when a train is allowed to leave. The signal turns green, there is a little reaction time for the driver and then the train starts to accelerate. And as soon as the train enters the next block, the signal turns red again. Let's see how we can do this in train controller. The simplest way to do it is to simply give the uh, signals that are part of the block a DCC address such that they can be switched. And if you have a DCC decoder and an LED uh, signal connected to it that will already work immediately. Let's go to edit mode and double click this block. In the general tab, uh, first of all you li like to make, take care that you have the tick mark set with show block signals, otherwise they don't even show. Go to the block editor and here click, uh, no not, yeah, click on that signal and then uh, select from this list what kind of signal you like. In this example we are going to use only a red and green, a two aspect signal. And then double click on that signal to go to the signal properties and you could give it a name in the general tab. Usually that's not necessary much but you can. And then in the connection tab, there we go to the uh, digital system that we use to control our accessories, uh, in this case LocoNet, and then give it an address, uh, well just for fun, give it address 37. And right now you should already be able to test it out, it should turn red or green when you click this icon over here. This is it, uh, nothing else is needed to get this working and yeah, as we can see in the video, let me uh, start the schedule right now. Let me start the intercity clockwise, uh, there it is, the two trains are going to start. Oh, I hope the blue train is starting, yeah, <laughs> and there it is, the signal is green and it is now accelerating. And in the video it shows that the signal indeed turned green. And it also turned red again. The big plus of this method is that it is quick and very easy. Uh, the drawback is that the signal follows the blocked signal and there is no intelligence. Suppose you would like to simulate something more like a reality, which means the signal is green, when the two next block, which is this block and then this block, are empty, uh, the signal is yellow when the second block contains a train and the signal is red when the first block contains a train. Can we also try that? Well, yes, that is possible, but then we need to uh, put our own signal here on the layout and control it with uh, triggers and conditions. So let's have a look how that works. Let's go to edit mode and then select a signal here from the list. Let's do this time a three aspect signal and I'm going to place it over here. Yeah, you, you can take away the block signal and then uh, place your own signal over there. But just for doing it quick, I place it here. We have now two signals. Uh, let me click this signal. Uh, uh, just like with the other one, I have to give it a DCC address, so here it is, address 37, but because it is a three aspect signal, it has three LEDs, so it needs two DCC addresses, which it automatically has gotten. To test your DCC connections, click this icon, it is going from red to yellow to green, and uh, if it is not working correct, you can switch these things around over here until you have exactly what you need. Let's go to the trigger tab to tell the signal when to switch state. Uh, over here we have green, red and yellow. Let's first do red because that is a simple one. 
What we want is that the signal is red when block mid one is occupied. So let me find a block. Here in this list I go to blocks and then the block mid one we have to find it over here. And uh, then over here in this list I'm going to have a look at occupied. Yeah, the block occupied that means that my signal has to go to red. Let's go to yellow. Uh, yellow means block mid one should be empty. Uh, mid one empty, that is not occupied. And block west one, uh, let me find that in the list. Block west one, that uh, if that is occupied, then I want my signal to become yellow. Let's go to green. Uh, green is when block west one is empty, not occupied. And block mid one is not occupied. Add not occupied. Well, okay, this should do it. Uh, let's have a look at that signal over there when I get out of edit mode. Um, well, right now we should see that it is green. We put it on green and then <laughs> let's see if that works. Let me open a traffic control window right here, uh, via which I can switch blocks to occupied or free. Let's uh, act as if block mid one is occupied. Look at our signal, it just turned red. Um, let's now suppose this train drives on and it makes block west one occupied, but block mid one is now free again. Look, our signal turned to yellow. And if block west one also is free, look, our signal just turned to green. Well, that is what we wanted. So this is the way that you can create your own signal logic. Maybe see you back in a future video and in the meantime, have fun.